Hey everybody, how are you? Today, uh, I'm not doing a full out tutorial. I recently learned how to do owls, like, uh, with their faces looking like this. And uh, I learned that from Pete Ryan. I seen one of his carvings, and uh, I had the luxury of studying it, and then also uh, duplicating it, and then turning it kind of into my own thing. Not really. This is more or less Pete Ryan's way of carving owls. And uh, uh, just by doing small things on the face, you really, uh, really makes the owl pop. So this is this guy's face. It's not not quite detailed as as much as I would like it to be. All right, there's there's more details on the eyes when it comes into circles. There's actually a, a little nasal area here and his whole head kind of flows in as opposed to just being a, a block, you know what I mean? So I'm not actually gonna do the full owl today. I'm gonna throw up a piece of scrap wood and then just rough out uh, the quick beginning of this face, and then I'll take you through step by step on how to get it from just to something like this into something that's really detailed and it'll actually uh, push your work into the next level, if you know what I mean. So I've got a scrap piece of wood here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my nifty dipty crayon. If you want to get yourself some of these nifty dipty crayons, link in the description. Uh -huh. Alright, so I'm going to find my center, which is important. It's not very center, but you can do better if you want. So here is my center line, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carve it like this. Right, just kind of give it, on either side, a, uh, a V. Carve that real quick, and then we're gonna find the bottom, which will be right about here. So the bits we're gonna be using almost entirely for this carving is the teardrop bit. Also be using uh, the elongated teardrop for the Dremel, and then just the standard little sanding thing that comes with a Dremel when you buy one. So what I've got drawn on here right now is essentially the, the brow of the owl. We're gonna follow that with the die grinder. And once we got that out, we're gonna jump directly onto finding our eyes and making space for our eyes. What we're gonna do next is actually draw on where we're gonna put our eyes and then we're gonna dig out a circle all the way around that sucker and uh, kind of round everything off. Eyeballs. All right, and there you have it, your finished product. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the middle of your eyeball, which is like across here, right? And then you're gonna start from one corner and then you're just gonna finish a little bit higher on the other side. So let me draw that line in. So we're gonna do that on the other side, okay? So that is the top of his eyelid. Now you're gonna carve that with the Dremel. Don't go too deep, we'll make it sharper with the, uh, that little pink bit I showed you earlier. After you've got these little lines in here, actually drawn on the eye. Now the way you do this is kinda draw a half circle and you can hollow these circles out, half circles out completely, or what I like to do is carve them out just a little bit and leave a little dot in the center. It kind of gives it that pupil look, once again, using your Dremel. The next step is going from where your eyelid is up top here, once it ends, where it ends, right in that little corner, you're gonna make just a circle to indicate that there's a bottom of the eye and there, there's a bottom eyelid. I went from the base of the eyelid that we carved all the way down and around, and then I went down and around again. So it really depends on what kind of owl you have as a reference here, but sometimes I like to go right from the base of the eye, or from where the middle of the eye is, the top of my nose, and then there's gonna be another ridge down here, which will be his nose holes will be here, and then he's got his actual beak, which is not that big, okay? So we're gonna go in there with the, uh, the die grinder, and we're gonna take out that bottom portion, carve that whole portion out, and just kind of round the bottom of his face. All right, so once you got that removed, we're gonna immediately jump into carving the beak. Now, what I like to do is carve a point at the bottom here. So we're gonna taper this down to the length we want, and then we're gonna point the beak at the bottom. Now, it's gonna be like a very 
aggressive point. So once you've got your beat carved out, you're gonna go in right in the bottom here and just jam your Dremel in there to make a little hole on either side. And it'll give the little appearance of a, of a hooky beak, all right? Beautiful. Now for the top part, we're gonna wanna get this a little bit thicker than the actual nose. Smooth it out and put two little holes on the side. So these are all your main features, they're done, right? We've got our, oh my foot, dropped the tool on it, moving on. So you've got your eyes done out here, you've got your beak, and you've got your nose, and then how you're gonna detail the side is really, that's all entirely up to you. I actually like using the Dremel. Um, I'm gonna grab my grinder really quick just to give this all a quick polish up. So my approach on making all the, the facial little shuma bobbers is using this teardrop, uh, the elongated teardrop on the Dremel. I come out from the side, I continue to flow it out, and then up here, there's a little bit of a transition where it goes from this way to out way. You know what I mean? It will come this way, and this one will come the other way. Kind of like a yin and yang. So I'm gonna do that all over the place, and then for up here, just straight lines I like to run down and then just kind of have it press over and interlap up here. And then continue to do the same. And for up top, carving little triangles in. Oh, another quick thing I'd like to show you guys. When you're down here, if you actually push the Dremel in, you get those little, little niches right there. It gives the carving a little bit more depth. You were to do that all the way along the bottom, it really kind of gives the appearance that it's got more volume there. All right, so like at this point, you can pretty much say she's done, but if you want to go the extra mile, use the uh, little pink bit that comes with your thing. Go over everything and really make the carving pop by giving some defining lines. And there you have it guys. That'll be your finished product. Now, just doing it in this style really brought my owls to the next level. It, uh, how do you say that? Uh, before I was just using like little, just doing little circles for eyes and I mean that was cool and not really working on the beak and any of that. And, it, uh, you know, if you're gonna carve it, carve it right, right? <laughs> so that's, uh, that concludes this tutorial. Let me uh, zoom out so I'm not crouching. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. That concludes the owl face tutorial. If you uh, like what you saw here today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and maybe shoot me a like. Uh, I'll be straight up honest with you, running out of ideas on things to carve. So if you can actually drop me uh, a comment down below on what you'd like to see me carve in a tutorial style for next week. It would be greatly appreciated. Uh, as far as all the tools you saw me use in the video goes, if you look in the description, there should be a link to them. Um, if you want to help support me, uh, you don't even need to buy what the link directs you to. You just go on Amazon and purchase something through the link. It benefits me. As far as everything else, it's my birthday uh, coming up in a couple days. So I'm going to sign off and uh, Keep on carving, guys.